We're going to learn the Shvas Emes on Pesach. He said this in Tov Reish Lamed Aleph. And he writes that he didn't write it. This was the first year he was Rebbe. And he didn't write it according to the order. And he writes what he said on the first night. Mishraudi wrote it after Pesach. Unless he wrote on Pesach because he was going to forget. <clears throat> Otherwise, you can't write on Pesach except if you're going to forget the Torah that you said. We say in the Agoda, every generation, a person has to see himself as if he left the Mitzrayim. And it says, That's what it says, we were taken out. First, it says we should see ourselves as if we were taken out. And then it says we were taken out. So he adds that through Emuno, that there is a Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim L'chol Der Vador, that for every generation is a Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, it, this becomes evident to everyone that we were taken out. Now, the Ramaphorshim who explained that the Aseris Adibris, the Aseris Makis, when Hashem Harad the heart was to give the ability of any, every generation that was going to be in Golos after Mitzrayim, as well the ability to leave Mitzrayim, but that's not what the Svasevimus is saying. I'm just adding that as a thought. The Maral writes, because Kibeklal Hoyokolecha Bitsiyas Mitzrayim. In general statement, all of Jewry was at Bitsiyas Mitzrayim. Rakhayev Liroiz Ki Ilu Yotzev Prat. The person's obligated to see himself included in that grouping. And we can add as well that through Emuno. One adds himself into that grouping. The belief ties him into it. And Mevadai, certainly, he was in the Yitzhiyah's Mitzrayim to the fact that he's Jewish. Because for the fact of Yitzhiyah's Mitzrayim comes the life of every Jewish person. But you can only come to this comprehension through belief. The Acha. And after Shavri Atzim Kilu as if he sees himself as if he left, Yedei Omamin, and he believes, Higama Haora Sheishloi, that that light, that wisdom that he has, he wouldn't have that without the fact of the exodus of Egypt. Yedei Zer, through that in Zgaloloi, it becomes clear to him. He can see how he can leave this world that we live in and exit Yitzhiyah's Mitzrayim, exit the Golas that we're in to feel the fact of being Jewish, the fact of being Mekusha to Torah, and that's the Pirish in the Sibi Yitzhiyah's Mitzrayim. Even if we're wise, Ki Afshu Chochom Dorek Bashem. Even though he's a chocham, he's wise, and he's attached to Hashem. Chaim Eishloi Leida. No, I should read. Ki Avshu Chocham Dovei Hashem Chaim. Even though he's a person who's a chocham, who's attached to the living God. Eishloi Leida Ki Al Ki Kolze Al Yidei Yitzis Mitzrayim. That this was only enabled and made possible through Yitzis Mitzrayim. Che Emes came. That this is the truth. He has to separate it and, and make it clear to himself. Just like when you, you take wheat from chaff, you have to make it clear to believe. And that's why you talk and ex express it. A concept of clarifying, making visible, clearly. Every generation has that uh, test of leaving Mitzrayim. And that's what people have to know, that we shouldn't think we're living uh, wonderful times and we don't have to leave where we are. We have to recognize even if we reach, attained a certain level, we have to go further. The According to the capabilities of every generation, and this all was in the time of Yitzhiyah's Mitzrayim. And according to Amunasa Odom, 
And when a person believes as if he was part of his Yitz Mitzrayim, his Gala, the Chin he can actually feel that aspect of Margish, and he senses me Yitz Mitzrayim shall Ato. He senses the exodus of its time even in the present. Every person then can go out. So the Swasam is basically saying in this first statement that we have to look and see and remember where we are and hope that Akajabur will help us to get out of Mitzrayim, to get out of our problems. Now, he says regarding the question of the Chochem, Moed is Achukim. So the Rav Svazem says, Lochere to be at first glance, Echshel Tam Al Chuka. How does he ask what is the Chok? The Chok is something that's not understood. Edus is something that we have to do to show perhaps that we are proving that we're Jewish. But what's Chuka? There's a posing that says he tells his words to Yaakov, Chukov, the Choyk Li Yisrael. Everyone feels a, a tam, a reason. Here we can play a word, word with it. We can say it, a taste to Gamba Chukov. He has an attachment even to the Chukim, which we do not. Uh, understand from logic. This is again through belief. He does the choik just in truth, just the way it is. He does it because Akajibor told him to do it, even without knowing the reason. Through this, he merits Leda Atam Gam came. Akajibor gives him insight as to why he's doing it. And this is the reason also of Achilles Matzah, even though it doesn't have a taste, it's, it's beer, flour, and water. What is you're eating it because you, you it's desirous of the taste? The very fact that he's not doing other, eating other foods, the chometz foods that he's not allowed to eat, he doesn't mention the chometz here. Chassidim were very careful not to mention the word chometz on Pesach, so he maybe that's why he says ma'cholam acherim, different foods meaning chometz because he wants to have the taste of matzah. Al yedezeh through this. It gives him the ability to have a connection to matzah, even though the physical body doesn't have a taste. It's only the neshama, the spiritual part of him, that recognizes the greatness of matzah. And that's why they said, we leave the taste of the matzah remain in, in our mouths. Meaning, we try to hold on to that spiritual aspect of eating something that Akkadish Baruch commands us to eat, hoping that through doing that which Hashem wants us to do, He will give us, wants us to do as a mitzvah, He will give us that which we desire to do, which is to serve Hashem. The third and last piece that we'll learn tonight is Baruch Shema Avtachosai. We say, we praise in the Agoda, blessed is Hashem who kept his promise to the Ovois. The Akkadish Bohu, Choshe Vakeitz Lasois, Krishe Vakeitz Lasois. Akkadish Bohu reckoned the 400 years from the time of Yitzchok in order to get us out of Mitzrayim earlier. He explains this, Piyush, Biyuris, the Choldova Maase Gashmi. There has to be in every action that is physical. Gam kein bechina zagulo. The we also have to be able to have a connection to gulo. Shaloyli yisnitba. We shouldn't be drowned. Begashmi is hadova. 
in the physical aspect of the item and that he checked not only regarding with the physical aspect of Tal Yisrael, but he was even careful about our, not only our spiritual aspect, but about our physical aspect as well. That's why, the seven states that this is concept to bring thought into action, that in, there should be an end to the action through the thought. What does he mean? He goes further. This is what he promised Avraham Avinu that your children will go out. And what was this promise? That will be a Bishibu 400 years. That will be in servitude for 400 years. The Oz. Then, then that was the show of affection of, of love to Avram from Hashem. Shekoras imoi habris. He made with him the covenant that his seed would be Klal Yisrael. Just that it's a great promise. Shal agolus Yisrael that. Through the servitude, the Yisrael would have this ability to find this inner premius in that which is hidden. Because life has hidden parts to it. And if we would understand everything, then there would be no human aspect of elevation. That was, in parentheses, Vizesh Nikar Golos. That's why it's called Golos. He has the word Golos. Golos also means to reveal. Al Shem Le means to arouse his galus, the revelation of a pneumius of the innerness, Shabbatecha Hester, which is found in the hidden. And this is why he says, Yudhuya Teda. You shall ultimately know. In other words, to make it known that the inner aspects that are hidden are spiritual, he had to have the ability, the strength, and the knowledge which causes a connection and a, an attachment as is known. So here he's saying that he adds... A golos means, in the golos we have to work to reveal. Even every word in Hebrew has its has two meanings to it. Hidden golos is, is exile, but it also means reveal. and that's why we say This ability of seeing that which is good in that which is hidden is the ability we found in Mitzrayim. This promise to Avram is a guarantee to assistance in every generation. That everything, the more things are hidden, will ultimately bring greater strength when we are redeemed. This is what it means. Yavtocha is a assistance to every generation that everything that's hidden adds to the time and the gula. This is why we say that we don't, it's not our own power. We couldn't do it ourselves. Yavtocha so gave that power when he promised to Avraham Avinu that we'll always be able to overcome those who try to destroy us. As it says, Chabi Yisroi Sadik and Tzaddik has many difficulties in Yatzileinu Hashem, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu assists him. In the Zohar, it says in Parashat Vayishlach, Kiyumaloshin v'yatzel mikne avichem, that he saved the, the flock of your fathers, Shemena Meitzar, from trouble, 
Nafesh Oid Koyach were able to bring forth the ability of Anitza Koydish, of that inner inner sanctity which is found from Yaakov yeah, Avinu in every Jew. And it says, Yetzu Bechush Godel, they will go out with great wealth. It does not necessarily mean physical wealth. It definitely means a spiritual wealth, the spiritual wealth of seeing the Mithloi Saboyre, in the Asur, in the Makis, seeing the Mithloi Saboyre in Kriyas Yamsuf, and seeing Kabbalah Satoyo. May you merit, merit all of that, but be as goyal in the near future.